Well, howdy, boys. Look at this beauty. Decided to give it a little reviewer since the driver's out on a little VK. VK, vacation. Y'all gotta chill sometimes, you know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta kick it and not do anything. I mean, quite frankly, this guy probably chills a little too much, but... So, that's the way, the, the way these guys go. Anyways, guys, this thing has about 138, I think, thousand miles on her. Yeah, the hood's open. I was gonna show you under the hood. I don't know what there's a show under there, but I'm just going to show you how she looks and how dirty. Anyways, so, still haven't burnt the tires off of it since winter. So, you know, this truck hasn't been putting on too many miles. I don't know, this truck's had a rough ride with drivers. I mean, three drivers ago got fired on this. Um, two drivers ago got fired on this. And this last driver... Frick, man. <laughs> just might have to okay never mind i'll keep it personal <laughs> i'll keep it private uh no he's not going just because of the tail light it was a tail light and then the tailgate as you can tell it's uh modified a bit so this truck's the one that's been giving me grief with uh with axle this is the truck that i said hail to the no to dealers unless the engine blows in a tranny even though at that point I'd be thinking about it. Uh, let's do fuel economy. 15 miles to gallon. Do you guys see that? And you're going to say, well, Paul, for how long has that been? Well, let's see uh, trip A. Shoot, what, what's going on with that glare? Look at that, 5,444 miles. 14.6. Trip B. 21,705.1. 14.6. This truck's been getting really good gas mileage, and something's weird about this truck. Maybe that's why the rear end's going out on it, or one out on it officially. It's very aggressive. Had the dealership look at it, and there's no, nothing's wrong with the tune. Just rips really hard off the line. Does it have, like, a lot of power? I wouldn't say it has, like, a lot of power, like, in high end it pulls harder than other trucks. Just specifically off the line. Like, that first itty-bitty of the throttle, it's very aggressive. So here you go. Oh, well, it's dirty in here. At least on a leak, I don't know. Something's going on. Something's funky. It needs a wash, man. I rarely wash my trucks under the hood, but when I do, I do. Take it easy and hose her down and start her back up and make sure she's uh, running right and, and warm and all that good stuff. So, alternator starter, that kind of crap. Don't go out. Anyways, boys, couldn't say uh, enough of good things about it besides the rear end. Gave me grief put me out for a couple months total but this last axle that came in uh once they started talking about lemon laws and stuff i mean third time around at the dealership for the same prom finally uh fulfilled my request which is give me a whole brand new assembly obviously the pumpkin's deformed and it's tweaking with the position of the bearing and it's throwing things off and the bearings are going out but man what's going on in society and humanity nowadays man look at this they just take a car out here strip it and just I mean, I don't know who owned this car. Highly doubt the owner did this because he wanted to get rid of it. You know, it'd really break my heart if some teenager spent his hard-earned money on this thing and then some hooligan came out and destroyed it. So yeah, boys. Couldn't, um... As I always, couldn't say anything bad about it, really. Besides that, it's been on a roll of, uh, iffy drivers. Last two got fired. So, hopefully... Everything works out for us, you know what I mean? It's been a good truck. For unknown reasons, it's been getting really good gas mileage. A little bit better than the rest of the guys. You know, it was 138, 891, so safe to say 139,000 on it. Engine, you know, the rest of the stuff's been mighty fine, you know? So she looks in the back. Look at that, look at that beauty. Looks pretty. Never noticed this guy has this kind of beauty in the back. I guess that's for sound detonating. It gets pretty loud when you pull off the back seat. From all the road noise. Anyways, boys. What is going on? I'm not used to this. You gotta hold the key. <sighs> so, that's it. Whole lot of nothing to say about the negatives. Nothing new to say about the positives. Same old trusty pickup. Doesn't give me any grief or anything, and this one's actually a cool one. It has a backup camera. 
don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Look at that. Oh yeah, man. We be we be high rolling right now. Who needs that stuff? Guys, as far as the gooseneck, or excuse me, as far as the mileage goes, this is as far as the truck's driven. Two blocks away from the shop with no gooseneck. You know, it's had goosenecks all along. So, that's all I could say. Y'all have a mighty fine day, and for you guys thinking about buying a Ram, make sure it's a nice one, and you'll be in good hands. Don't idle it either. Get it, you know, give it a minute or two to idle, warm up the oil, slowly start moving, and once the temps come up to operating, roll into it, and fully warm let her have it man that needs that heat it needs that pressure i mean it needs that exhaust flow and keep things rolling all right y'all have a mighty fine day and god bless you